Do you want an average and ordinary company, or do you want to build a world-class company? Whatever you want to build, please put it in the comment section below. World-class or settle for the average and not ordinary. What do you want to do? Let me break it down one more time for you to understand so therefore you can take notes. Now, you've got financial incentives, bonuses, commissions, profit sharing, equity ownership, etc. Then you've got non-financial incentives, recognition, personal development, career growth, leadership development opportunities. Each one plays a role in driving your team towards that next level. For example, bonuses and commissions. These are your short-term drivers. They're perfect for pushing immediate results. So if you want your guys to come out with a contest from day one of month one, you want them to close out the end of the month strong, have certain bonuses and com commissions at the beginning or end of the month to drive your people's behavior. Now, I'll say this tongue in cheek because usually salespeople try to find ways to game the system. There's a little bit of gamification goes on here in understanding your sales team. So as you're incorporating and developing this into your plan, there's a little bit of testing. There's a little bit of, uh, of taking notes, feedback from your sales force in terms of what type of incentive plan, compensation plan, maybe even your executives. Maybe their behaviors aren't being driven the right way that excites them the most that drive mutually agreed upon uh, goals for both the company and them to get to the next level. So a little bit of feedback, a little testing here and there will help you put together the best compensation and incentive plan possible. The second part is stock options and profit sharing. That's how you get your team invested in long-term success of the company. I can tell you this, a lot of people look at a plan and say, okay, this is the way my company is going to compensate me the most for this product, the service, so I need to sell this the most. This needs to be the flagship product and a salesperson or an executive, I need to focus in on this area to create the result that my CEO, that a company is looking to have, so therefore we all can win. And the third part of this is recognition and development opportunities. These things can be just as powerful, especially for your high performers who are motivated by more than just money. You know, I ask around oftentimes, people, you know, right, they're right, absolutely right, they're not driven by money, but they're driven by recognition. Napoleon Bonaparte said something very profound. He said in his observation of being a general in the French army, he said, listen, I found what men are willing to die for, and that's the ribbons on their chest. Recognition can be a very, very powerful incentive. Again, this is another area for gamification, because sometimes people, put up some numbers, and if those numbers aren't clear or the expectation of how those numbers are processed and viewed, because somebody can fluff numbers, especially in a competitive environment like this, people can fluff numbers because they want the not only commission, or if not the commission, they want the recognition. And if they're able to fluff numbers by driving that or your systems internally don't report the numbers the right way, people just fight for the recognition, fight for the recognition, fight for the recognition, they'll get the recognition, but your company doesn't grow. So you gotta make sure you inspect what you expect if people are getting the recognition necessary because we have many people, they fought for the recognition or they fought for the, comp the, 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 the compensation plan, but 30 days later, 60 days later, 90 days later, post, post deadline, the business they didn't follow up with, the business they didn't follow through, the deals didn't get completely done. They were done by deadline, but they weren't followed through and in, in incorporated or implemented. Therefore, the company didn't grow. But yet you as a CEO, you as a sales leader, you paid the compensation or you paid the incentive, but you actually didn't get your company to grow. So these are things that you have to inspect what you expect. Mm -hmm.